guys, I just got it in Target. Zoom a little bit. What I've done so far, got this room cleared out. I don't know what that's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be the guest room. The bathroom I got pretty much clear. Just put some of the towels up. The babe's office. Everything unpacked, and we've been slowly getting stuff from out of our storage. It's gonna be my little filming room. Yep, so a little bit of it. And guys, I didn't do an empty house tour purposely, um, but once I get everything together, I'll, you know, you'll be seeing bits and pieces of the home. But there's too many creepers out, so I'm not doing a, you know, a full house tour. But over time, you'll get to see it. Um, yeah, but everything is coming along. So once you get everything situated, it's all good. But yeah, I'm glad to be in here and out that apartment. Ooh, it seemed like it took forever. Thanks to you know who, well you know what, rather. That flower, that lamp, that tray. I found my record player, my record player that was in storage, my craft box. Yeah. So, yeah, it's coming along. And you'll see me do a, maybe, I don't know, could be lying. A um, DIY, I'll probably frame some of my bags. And using that artwork to keep me from buying more. <laughs> spending more money I'll just go find me some cheap frames and reframe them. I want to buy do a new build. Do not do not do not do not price yourself out of the neighborhood going into the design center and buying everything um, doing all the upgrades half of that stuff you can do by yourself. If you feel like it's too tedious maybe plumbing and electrical then yeah that's a little different but you know, if it's painting or flooring or something like that, don't give it. The morning, I should get ready to head out. I'm gonna run to a couple of things I wanna do today. I'm gonna run to um, Big World Market. I'm gonna see if I can find me a desk. If not, I'll just get one off of Amazon. Oh. And enjoy this beautiful weather out here. And I'll probably come back and do like a clay mask on my hair. Something because I got too much build up. I'm gonna get it braided. Oh, let me show y'all how long it's got to go. Look at my roots. It's gotten pretty long. The blonde is almost gone, so what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna go back black. It's getting cold out. Like I said, I'll usually just do this for the summer. And, uh, then I'll probably get me some micro something I can just leave my hair alone and not touch it when it's cool out. But yeah, it's it's grown. Yep, the blonde is almost gone. But it's grown. This is the alopecia spot that's grown. It grows a little slower, but it does grow. So I have hair in the entire spot. Again, I increased my water and tried to cut back on processed foods and whatnot. So it's just doing good. 
He's peeling it nicely. Is it enough to... I'm not sure if y'all can see that. I don't know if it's even clear. Oh yeah, it grows a little slow, but it does grow. I do what I'm supposed to do and increase my water. So again, it's not as full and all that like the other rest of it, but but it's dirty. I got so much build up, so I'm gonna do the um what do you call it? The clay mask only get all this gel and whatever else out of it. Get braided and um, I'll probably show y'all the routine or wash and dry it and then I might straighten it out so I can trim my ends but um yeah I might straighten it out so I can trim my ends and um before I get it braided just prepping it really before I get it braided conditioning it really well all right this is the rug that I got I got a black rug I'm open it and then I'll go tomorrow and get a um what do you call it? The rug mat so it doesn't slip the slide. So I'm getting ready to open this by 12. The rug is 9 by 12. I also pick these up too. These gold chairs with the this bitch from my room. This is shag. It's so soft. Yeah. Okay. So normally I do them all in black and then when you, when you color them in red, it pops a lot more. Okay. 